All right, so I kind of want to talk about Dragon here. There's been like a lot of stuff coming out about Dragon, and I haven't been covering it. Dragon is, well, it's coming out really soon. We could be seeing a release date on the 28th of this month. So on the 28th, that could be the release of the update. I'm pretty sure anything before that day would most likely be a trailer. But I want to go ahead and go over some of the stuff that Indra posted, of course. So... First thing we have is the King's Rar. Now, this obviously looks like a reworked Fire Shower move. If I were to guess, it's most likely the Scorching Downfall move that we saw from before. It's definitely not Heat Wave Cannon because we already know the Heat Wave Cannon is the single fire Dragon Breath attack. But one thing I will definitely mention here is that the Fury Meter looks a little bit odd. If I go ahead and just pull out the other zones in game you're gonna see that it doesn't really look the same you see it's blacked out and if we go ahead and took a look at dragon as it is now you see it's blacked out there's no orange background in it uh same with uh t-rex even t-rex it's a black background with of course the color of the bar up in front of it so Whatever's going on here, this orange signifies something. So it's either that this meter can be built up twice, either it has sort of like a, a first orange mode to it, and then on top of that orange, uh, there's like a second red one. I kind of like how Kitsune stacks its bars. Because, you know, Kitsune stacks its bar, you know, at one tail, two tails, and three tails. It might be possible that when it's red, you can probably use this transformation and... If it's orange, I don't know what that could mean. That that could be pretty much anything. I don't know about it being a hybrid. Bloxroots kind of has some limitations when it comes to, you know, that kind of stuff. All fruits can only have five moves in its kit. So, like, putting two transformation moves in a fruit, that's not like... that. That seems impossible, which is maybe why they would be uh, trying to implement some kind of hybrid transformation in a more creative way by basing it basically on the state of your fury meter which would make sense that adds up as for the fire rings i've kind of been thinking about what this could mean i'm confused when it comes to the whole fire rings thing if i'm being honest i don't really know i don't know what indra's hinting at when when he's kind of talking about what it could mean I, I genuinely don't know. Um, I think Kit Gaming said something like that it could represent Conqueror's Hockey. It's, it's not a bad guess because Kaido is, uh, that's kind of his shtick, Conqueror's Hockey and whatnot. And the, another reason why that could be credible is Blocks Roots, you know, they like to do their best to avoid copyright in many forms, you know, even as far as to rework fruits just to avoid copyright. So just changing their names, the way they look, the models, the attacks. You know, they'll go out of their way to kind of avoid copyright. It could be possible that they're representing the color of Conquerors as this for Dragon. Maybe the whole Conquerors concept is only going to be used for Dragon because call it the king of, the king of all fruits. King's hockey, you know, it kind of adds up. It could be that. Of course, we have this from the end of December, of course. Big, really big AoE attack, which by the way... I'd even think about trying to connect this to what kind of move this is. So we know this is probably C. This is probably the C move. Scorching Downfall. Although a name like Scorching Downfall kind of fits more with this attack here. Roots, the C move is kind of supposed to be like their kind of their ultimate attack, specifically for the zones, because Indra calls the C move of Kitsune its its signature move. So you got this, you got this, and this is pretty much Kitsune's strongest attack in its kit. The C move is kind of the ultimate attack of Kitsune. Of course, we have Leopard with Finger Revolver, you know, Spiral and Kick, and then, of course, Leopard has its ultimate attack. It's After Image Assault, just like that. And let's uh, another example, Venom as well. If you use Venom C in Transformation, it's basically its strongest attack. It's a huge AOE poison cloud. Like the C move of, you know, whatever beast fruit you're using is kind of supposed to be like its signature attack. 
maybe not its ultimate attack because it doesn't exactly have a v move but we could call it like it's sort of its signature attack and when we call it like its signature attack that would mean it's kind of the most powerful move in its kit so if we go to look at dragon here if i were to connect these to anything so let's just kind of rule out what this could possibly be At the very least we can rule out what this is and what this isn't this move scorching downfall it looks like this could be that i think a name like that this is definitely not heat wave cannon because heat wave cannon is a projectile based attack it's not it's an aoe attack of any kind because there's no way a projectile attack is going to do this much aoe there's no way that's absolutely impossible and if that's the case that's broken so that's immediately ruled out so this move is definitely not heat wave cannon that is out of the whole picture inferno pincer now we'd, ha we'd have to go look at the definition i have a good idea what a pincer is but basically it's a tool of two pieces of metal and it's for gripping and pulling things so it's a grab attack so this move might not be infernal pincer either because i don't think a grab attack would cause an aoe of this scale it's definitely not that scorching downfall would make sense this would of course be untransformed scorching downfall it would make a lot of sense for this to be its ultimate move it's c attack but then that leaves a question if that's the case then what the heck is this this doesn't look like heat wave cannon because i mean a, a cannon fires a single projectile it's not like a huge so it's kind of confusing so i i don't I'm kind of stuck on what this could be. Is this going to be the new heat wave cannon or is this actually scorching downfall? It's a bit confusing. Uh, we don't know that. Whether we know that this uh, draconic sore move is going to still be kind of the same before the wings, we don't know that. They could rework the draconic sore. I don't think it's going to be a flight move. They could rework it into an attack. Which is kind of what's going on with um, all of the more expensive zones. Because if you take a look at that, that's that's actually the case. Because let's, let's look at Mammoth. Yeah, you can use Stampede to move around in short distances. But it's more so an attack, right? And then we have T-Rex, which is kind of the same. T-Rex is also kind of used to jump from one place or another, mostly as an attack. We look at Venom. Venom is used for travel. But it's also a pretty good attack. Then we have right here, then we have Body Flicker. Body Flicker is not really good for transportation, but it is a really good attack. Kitsune as well. Kitsune as well. Wild Assault is not really a transport either. It's an attack. And I noticed a pattern. I just noticed a pattern. Every single brand new zone uses its F move as an attack. Same with Phoenix. If you transform with Phoenix, the F move turns into an attack. All the outdated zones use their F moves more as transport. And I think I know why they're doing this. Zones have kind of a lack of options when it comes to attacks. Not like a huge lack of options, but less than um, natural fruits. For example, dough, missile jab is an attack, pastry river is an attack, it's C move is an attack and it's V move. The button that's usually used for transformation is used as an attack. That's one thing that elemental types and natural types have over other fruits. They have the V skill available as an attack. So I think what they're trying to do with these beast fruits is this. Because the transformation takes up the V slot, I think they're trying to compensate by making the F move kind of an attack to stand in for the fact that that the V skill is taken up by a transformation and not another attack. I think they're doing that to make up for the fact that the V move kind of removes a little bit of offensive options because it's, it's there for Leopard. It's there for Kitsune. Even Venom to some extent, and it's an older fruit. And then T-Rex and Mammoth for sure. They're definitely going to take the direction. They're going to 100% remove the flight from Dragon. And I think they're just going to change it with an actual attack. Because the thing is, it's just, if you're going to make this the most expensive fruit in the game, it needs to bring all the offensive options to the table. It needs to trade out that flight for something else. Because if you want good flights, 
you're going to go to another fruit. You're going to go to light. You're going to go to portal. You're going to go to pretty much most other fruits. People don't want dragon for travel. People want what's going to be the most expensive fruit in the game to destroy some people. So they're most likely going to be uh, switching out that flight move with an actual attack. So that's technically going to leave dragon with four attack options and possibly an M1. I'd even consider that. It's most likely going to have an M1 as well. Whether that's going to be transformed or untransformed, I'm not sure. But given the price, I think they're going to try to roll as much power into this fruit as possible in any aspect they can. After all, it's going to be 5,000 Robux. This thing's going to be absolutely off the charts when it comes to price. So hopefully you guys <laughs> actually paid for this before it went off sale because uh, the best time to get it off sale was, of course before the rework is announced well not really before it was announced but after it was announced like a year ago people about had like a full year to get ready for this but yeah that's pretty much gonna be it for now